Well, finally, with a little bit of warmer temperatures, uh, things are growing, and that includes the weeds. So it becomes prime time weed killing time. So I know everyone, there's a lot of opinions about killing weeds. Some people want to do all organic. Uh, some people are, you know, they're under nuking the whole lawn. So uh, I'll kind of strike a little balance here and show you all the different ways. First of all, general weed killing. So this is what a lot of people use. So this is a uh, weed killer in for, and, and fertilizer. So it's called uh, step two. A lot of times they'll call it step two. So the only thing I don't like about that is it's weed killer. It's not weed preventer. So when you put this product down, you're putting weed killer down over 100% of your lawn. Well, a lot of places in your lawn, there's no weeds. So you're really just laying down weed killer to be laying down weed killer. It's not going to prevent anything. So that's why I'm not a big fan of that product. And also it's a little harder to use because when you put it down, because it's dry, the weeds have to be wet. So you either have to do it in the morning uh, after there's dew or after a rain uh, because weed killer needs to stick. That's why I'm kind of a fan of using liquid weed killer. So liquid weed killer, because then you can go out and you can just hit right the weed that you're trying to kill and not have to worry about spreading it everywhere. And a lot of these weeds are really hard to kill. So sometimes they take two and three applications. So you can kind of pinpoint them. So one of the things right here that, you know, I get shown a, a picture of this like three times a day, this is chickweed. And chickweed uh, really shows up because it's just so light green, it's real viney. It's called a, a winter annual. So it actually will start to germinate in and kind of overwinters and then boom, it blooms when we get a little bit of uh, a warm weather. So, and I always think that anytime that a weed killer, if you look right there, it says chickweed and clover killer. So if it has its own weed killer, it's hard to kill. So get the spe specific, uh, either, I would either, this is a really good weed killer called uh, Weed Free Zone or the chickweed and clover killer. I've used them both. This one works quicker. This one works a little slower, but eventually it kills them. And then the other thing, if you're really bugged by it, if you put this in your calendar, this is crabgrass control because that winter annual, if you put this down in August, that would prevent the germination in September of that particular weed. And also the, uh, the henbet, which is, is another little winter annual. So as far as uh, the, the thing about the uh, organics, most of the organics are actually weed and grass killers. So if you're gonna use them, you have to really dial in because you're gonna kill the grass around that weed as well. And, the, and certainly you can go online and there's all kinds of, of different mixes you can do, but just be careful what you're doing. You wanna save a little money? I know we're all pinched for money right now. It's amazing how many times nobody will use a concentrate, but you can actually hook this up to your sprayer, to your hose, and it, they're really simple to use. If you just take a second to learn how to do it, you will save so much money because when you're buying something like this, basically you're buying just a little bit of weed killer and water, all right? So there really is ways to save money. And if you really are averse to anything, there's the good old weed popper. You just shove this in the ground, pull it out, and it pops it off. So the problem is it cuts off the roots. So unfortunately, that dandelion probably still gonna come back, but it's great exercise, so you got that going for you.